hey guys you're welcome back here in today's tutorial i will be showing you how i beaded this bubble gun i also have a video of how i made this bubble gun if you haven't seen it the link is going to be in the description box below i'll be showing you one of the fastest way you can stone your fabric as well be ankara lace or any fabric of your choice this is one of the easiest and convenient way you can stone it let's get started here are the basic things you need for beading scissors the bead itself i'll be using glass beads i'm not sure of the size but it's glass beads and it's long not the short ones not the broken glass beads these are the long glass beads the measuring tape the tailor's chalk and the thread i'll be using the matching thread and it's the regular thread I just want to use this one because it's thicker than the regular thread so if you're using the regular thread or something thicker it's okay i will start by marking one one inch on both sides the one inch is the interval between the beads because i don't want it to be too close or too far from each other so one inch is perfect for me you can do half an inch two inches wideness depend on how close or how full you want this but one inch um interval it's perfect for what i am doing on this dress as you can see just one inch on both sides and that one inch is where i will start by fixing my bead and take it to the opposite side so just doing from one side take it to the opposite side take do it on one side take it to the opposite side that's basically what i'll be doing in this video now i am passing the needle from inside inside out after then I will be picking the beads with the needle or you can be using your hand to take the bead and insert it or put it inside the needle anyhow it's convenient for you just make sure you are fixing the bead inside the thread to get to the desired length that you want and you can see that is exactly what i am doing here just using the needle to pick the bead yeah Note that I am not counting the bead and I am not measuring it. I'm just going to be placing it till I get the desired look and the length that I want. After that, I am going to pass the needle through the wrong side and secure the bead. I will be securing the bead very well before the next round. So in case if a thread is loose, the whole bead the whole design is not going to be wasted and you have to fix everything all over again but if we are fixing this um, if you're securing the stitches very well before the next round if at all in a thread is loose you will not lose all the beads you just redo only the part that was lost i don't know if that makes sense if you don't understand let me know in the comment section so i can re-explain in my next video so I just continued with the same process till I reach the end of the design. Basically, that's it. You just continue to do the same thing. The only thing I just want you to know is that make sure you secure the bead on the wrong side before you start the next beading. So that if by mistake a thread is loose, the whole design is not going to lose. That is the only thing that I want you to pay attention to. 
so you will see as i will be doing in the next one right now i'll be securing the stitches on the other side before i start the next run yeah This is the end result. You can make yours more fuller or not as full as this. Totally depends on you. Now let's get started on stoning. For stoning, of course, you'll be needing stones, then glue, fabric glue, and you'll be using stoning pencil. 